Hi everyone, it's me Jasdeep and I'm back again with a video on how to crack job at Walmart. So in this video, we'll discuss about the process, the timeline, the salary you can expect, the different type of questions that would come and what would be the ideal answers that would land you a job at Walmart. So the job process starts with you finding the job online. Yes, you heard it right. Walmart posts the job online on either linkedin.com or indeed.com and the job title is customer support representative or customer sales representative. The salary for this job is around $14.25 per hour and that is typically the salary for a similar job in any of the stores. So once you found the link for the job, click on it, see the job description and then you have to put in standard answers of the questions like what's your name, what's your age, where do you come from, what's your status in Canada and why you're applying for the job. Once you have filled out all these questions and submitted the application, within two to five days, you should expect something called as a psychometric test. Let's try and understand what a psychometric test is. So it's a test of multiple choice question answers, which are situational based. You will be given a situation and then you'll have to find out the best possible answer you think would be for that situation. Being a customer support representative, you have to have two things in mind. You have to be customer focused and you have to be a team player. By customer focus, I mean that you'll always be dealing with customers trying to solve their problems. So you have to have that happy go attitude. The next being you have to be a team player wherein because so many customer sales representative are there at Walmart. So there'll be issues of timing, schedules, breaks and so on and so forth. So if you are accommodative there, then you shouldn't be having any problem. So all these questions that will you come, what you have to do is try to find out those options which sort of gives a feeling that yes, you are keep keeping the customer first and you're always being a team player. You shouldn't be showing that you are individualistic person and you're, you don't care about others. So that, that would sort of give a negative feel to them. Once you progress from this step and if you pass it, then you'll proceed to the interview round, which is the third and the final round. Next, moving on to the interview round. So when I got my call for the interview, I was so happy. And the first thing I did, I went online and went through all the videos about the one-on-one -on -one interviews at Walmart and what are the questions they ask, what answers we should give. And I got myself all prepared. On the day of my interview, I was suited, booted, I was all prepared and I went there. But to my surprise, I found out Walmart does not conduct one-on-one -on -one interviews anymore. They don't have the time for it. And now they have moved on to something called a group interview. This information is as of the last interview that I attended and even till now, I think it is the same process. It can change in the future, but all videos on YouTube are about one-on-one -on -one interviews. It is not being conducted anymore as of now. So once I reached there and I found out that there were 15 different people. So two people came out and they divided the group into a group of eight and a group of seven. And both the groups were asked to enter into two different rooms entirely. Like it was not a one-on-one -on -one person. It was all the groups at one time. Two panelists came along with us and two panelists went along with the other group. Inside the room, there were eight chairs and all of us, eight or eight of us sat there. And then the two panelists sat in front of us. I still remember the first thing they said was go into the Walmart store and grab anything that you want. So we went inside and everybody grabbed one thing of their choice and came out. When I was going in at that moment, I had some sort of a notion that if they've asked us to get something, there should be a logical relation to like what you are getting and you should be able to explain why you got it. It shouldn't be like, I just like it because that does not sense, give a sense of why you selected something. It's, it's a very naive answer. So once we came back, I had a diary with me, which was something like this notebook. And the two people on my left, they got a frozen vegetable and a frozen chicken. And on my right side, somebody had a cosmetic, somebody had a ball and so on and so forth. Then again, the second logical question that came out, why did you get this? So I remember the to do people on my left, they said it's because they like it. And when they came to me, I told them that I have experience of being a sales assistant manager for stationary product in India. So I know exactly this, this diary is, it has an ATGSM paper. I know who, who the right person who would be looking for this product. What is the durability of this product? If somebody wants something like a better product than this, what would that be? So through this, at least I gave them an idea that if they're looking for somebody as a customer support representative in stationary segment, I am the guy for that. And through this answer, they sort of understood that I, I made a conscious decision. It was because of something in my mind. It was just not because I liked the product. 
and afterwards all the people on my right also made some sort of a story which was still better than giving an answer that i just like the product after these questions then they moved on to situational questions now these are very logically laid out questions where they want to see what you would do in a situation and why you would do so i remember the first question that they asked was that if you are in the billing section and somebody some associate comes running to you to saying that the manager has called you what would your action be so i remember the first person said that they would leave their spot go to the manager understand the problem and come back i know that is sort of the typical thing that comes to your mind but of course you are not supposed to do that because you are in the billing segment and you have a queue if you leave your position and people get frustrated that that's not a good thing to happen so i said that i would not go i will ask the associate to switch places with me meanwhile he'll do on the billing i'll go and understand if that's not possible then i'll contact the manager during my break so i saw a nod from them from the panelists and that that was a yes for me that it's, a, it's sort of the right answer and there were other answers that people gave but i think this is the most logical answer that you should be giving and this would definitely help you or secure a position another question that came was that if there was a juice spill just after a customer has left the billing section what would you do so many people said that no they will continue with the billing because they don't want to upset the customers but my answer to this was that you are serving the customers in both ways one is the billing section and other is that you are risking someone slipping on that spill so i said that i will leave my position pick up the cones put them around so that people are aware that there is a juice spill i will not clean it not waste my time and quickly come back so i saw another nod from there because later on they themselves mentioned that yes customer safety is the most important important thing for walmart and by just putting in the cones you are telling the other associate who is free to come up and clean it rather than a customer falling over it and then you having some other hassle so that was a good question and i would say that typically this is the best answer you can give the third question was that if you see someone at walmart who is shady sort of wearing a hoodie and you are seeing that he he is picking up things not putting in the cart but like sort of keeping like this so what you should be doing so many people give different answers i gave a different answer but uh, the best answer that i heard was that since we are not there, there to do policing and every person has a way of carrying themselves and every person sort of wear a different sort of an attire does not mean that we we presume them to be shady but yes if we do the best thing would be to tell the security person to take care of them when they'll move out rather than we going and pinpointing at people so i think that was the best answer that came up from the person on my right probably but i, I really liked it after that there was another situational question which was like if if you get delayed for your break by 5 minutes uh what would you do so some people said that they'll inform their manager some people said that uh they will ask us uh, the next person to start 5 minutes early and like that to that i answered that i do understand if i delay myself by 5 minutes correspondingly the other person will delay by 5 minutes and this chain will be sort of an arithmetic progression wherein the delay would keep on compounding so instead i said that if such a situation happens i will have to shorten my break for that day so that everything else keeps on time and again i got a nod from the panelists that was sort of a right um, answer so similar questions you can expect during your interview and in the end they will sum up by asking like how flexible are you with your schedules so you will have to be upfront there because i told them like i can only come saturdays and sundays because i was doing my other job search on weekdays they were okay with it they did not promise me a job but they definitely told me they'll try their level best because i gave a lot of good answers to questions and i was upfront i i did not, did not lie to them and that that was pretty much my job interview process i hope you like the video i hope these this sort of answered what you should be expecting if you like it please subscribe to my channel i keep on posting such such videos which would definitely help you in in your journey in canada so bye for now